welcome back to my channel. So today I have another Sephora haul for you guys. I've been very into makeup during quarantine. I've been very into playing with makeup, trying new makeup. It is what it is. I made another rather large amount of orders on Sephora. So without any further ado, let's get into my Sephora haul. The first thing that I have to share with you guys is the product that I am most excited about. This is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Norvina collection palette. This is the Pro Pigment palette number four. It has 25 deluxe sized shadows in here. So this is what the Norvina volume four looks like. I did use it to do my eye makeup today. I've actually played with this a few times since I picked it up and it arrived to me just because I'm so excited about this launch. So I did do two different neutral looks since I've received the palette. I'm incredibly impressed with this palette so far. It really inspires me to look at it. It's the first like shadow palette release in a long time that just really spoke to me. Typically I'm more into face makeup and trying new like foundation, concealer, powders, that kind of stuff than I am shadow. You guys know me. I don't do like insane shadow looks most of the time. This palette really does inspire me. I love the look I created today and I love the look I created in my 4k video. Just very easy shadows to work with, blendable, pigmented, really nice tone. So I'm super, super happy that I picked up this. Then I picked up another order of the Sephora Collection Cleansing Wipes. These are their coconut wipes. You get 25 wipes and this removes like all of my base makeup. I use these to clean off my desk a lot as well. It gets really dirty when I'm filming and stuff. So I like using this to get makeup off of like surface areas as well as my face. Um, I don't use makeup wipes. I'm trying not to use makeup wipes as much as I used to. I'm trying when I'm cleansing my face at night or taking off my makeup, I try and use a cleansing balm or something. So this is more for like swatches or when I'm in a pinch or when I'm like drunk and can't be bothered to remove my makeup. That's when I use makeup wipes and I really, really like these ones. Next up, I have a product that I'm very, very excited about. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Micro Smoothing Powder. I saw so many people pick this up during the VIP sale and I decided that I needed it and that the hype was probably well deserved so I ordered it after seeing everyone's um hauls um so this is what the product looks like I got mine in one fair there are three different shades that this comes in so this is her lightest shade it's supposed to be an amazing powder I haven't actually tried it out yet I've just had it sitting in the box in the corner of my room and I haven't tried it yet for the most part I have powder that I really like. Like I like my Maybelline Loose Setting Under Eye Powder and then I really like my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. So those are like my go-tos. I don't really change up my powder all too much but I've heard that this is really gorgeous maybe for like lighter coverage days when I don't want my MAC Studio Fix or just like a soft under the eye setting powder. I just thought it would be a good product to play with. It has incredible reviews and everyone seemed to be picking it up during the sale and I felt left out so I picked it up. Hopefully I like it. I will keep you guys updated. The next product that I picked up is a full coverage foundation. This is the Smashbox Studio Finish, no, Studio Skin Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. And I picked mine up in 0.3 Fair Neutral. I have not had the opportunity to try this out yet. This is what it looks like. You get, how much product do you get in here? You get one fluid ounce, which is 30 milliliters, complete standard size for a foundation. I attended a Smashbox event about a year ago um, and they were promoting this foundation because it had just launched. They used it on me and my skin looked flawless and I decided that I really wanted it but just never got around to purchasing it and I've just been into playing around with new foundations and like concealer just like base products in general I've been back into it. I'm normally worried about like matte full coverage foundations because they do have dry skin but I like coverage, so I'm trying to find that fine balance. And this has hyaluronic acid infused in it, and I've seen it applied to my skin before and liked it. So hopefully I enjoy this. Again, I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know if you want to see another, like, get ready with me, trying new products, playing around with some new stuff, or I'll just give updates 
over the course of time. The next thing that I picked up is the Lily Lashes for Sephora collection. Eyelashes, false lashes in dramatic Miami. Absolutely love how they look, super fluffy, and the band is a nice size as well. I have used these in the past and you get a decent amount of uses with them. Um, I'm not sure. They don't advertise a certain amount of uses, but typically you can get like 10, 15, 20 uses if you wash them properly, take care of them properly. So so I figured these would be good to have once work reopens and I can wear lashes on a semi-regular basis. Yeah, I've just been more into lashes. I've been wearing them like almost every time I've been doing my makeup. I have some on today. These ones I just picked up at um, Marshall's Winners yesterday and they were like $4. They're called the Pro Beauty Essentials 3D Bow Mink Wispies. They came in a pack of two. They were super cheap, like $3 for two. And they're actually gorgeous and really nice quality. So if you see those at your local TJ Maxx or anything, definitely recommend. Great lashes. I think they're really, really pretty. But yeah, I'm also very excited about these. These are like the highest quality of lash I would purchase, the most amount of money I would be willing to spend on a lash. So hopefully I can get a lot of uses out of them. Pretty and fluffy and flirty, and that's what I like. This is Briogeo's Don't Despair Repair Strengthening Treatment Oil, one fluid ounce and 30 milliliters. Packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It has like a little dropper top. I do kind of wish it was a pump um, or like a squeeze tube, probably a pump. I just like a pump with my oils. I find it easier to manage, but a little goes a really long way with this. I have tried it out probably three or four times now. I have it in my hair today and it just makes your hair feel amazing. It says that it is made to fortify hair with bio-identical lipids such as ceramides and essential fatty acids to help restore and replenish for a smooth, silky finish. This lightweight oil is densely packed with their essential hair ingredients and clinically proven to repair the hair and prevent future damage as well. So typically when I use like hair oils and stuff, I've been using ones that have just like silicone in it. It makes your hair feel soft, but it doesn't actually do anything to repair the hair or make the hair feel better over time. So I love that Briogeo has like no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalates, no artificial dyes, and no DEA. I haven't tried this enough to really know if I love love it or notice a huge difference over time but I picked it up and I've been very much enjoying it so far and I'm excited to hopefully have it improve my hair. The next product that I have here is the Milk Makeup uh, Kush Lash and Brow Serum. I figured I would pay attention to like improving my hair, strengthening my hair, improving my skin, growing out my lashes, stuff like that while we're in this quarantine, whitening my teeth, just like maintenance-y self-care kind of stuff. So I picked up this lash and brow serum. I like that you can use it on both. So it is a daily serum that boosts and nourishes hair for longer filling looking lashes and brows. I've already gone through a decent amount and I haven't really noticed a difference yet although it says you need like four weeks to see a difference and I've only been doing it for about like two or three and I haven't been doing it every day. I've only been doing it like every other day. I have noticed that it makes my brows feel softer and my lashes feel softer but I haven't noticed like length or strengthening yet. I'll keep you updated on like the results and stuff. Then lastly I decided to pick up a crap ton of lip products. So this is the Morphe Cream Lipstick in 4 Evs. I remember Jaclyn Hill talking about this back in the day when these lipsticks launched and I really wanted it. Super, super pretty. I think this is my favorite lipstick of the three that I picked up. I really like that shade. So I just applied a little bit to my lips. I'll put some gloss from one of the kits on. Um, so that is the shade 4 Evs how it looks on the hand and then on the lips. I think that is like my perfect nude. I'll show you the Blushing Nude Lip Trio. So this one comes with a lipstick in Flirt, a lip gloss in Boho, and a liner in Love Bite. So that is the liner shade there in 
love bite super super pretty nude that would look really good with this lipstick that i'm wearing the forevs color um and then the lipstick here is in flirt that is what that looks like there in flirt definitely a little bit light for me i would definitely have to fully line my lips with that darker liner in order to make that lipstick work for me it might end up being too light for me i might have to pass it to a friend but it's a really pretty color and then we have the gloss in boho i'm actually gonna apply this right now I just want some gloss quite nude goes really well with the um, Lipstick there. It would also go really well with that first lipstick that I showed you now We have the nude pink trio. So these ones have a little bit more of that true pink nude tone instead of just like classic nude so that's backseat love there compared to that other lip liner the other one's a lot darker brown this one's more pink but very warm toned pink then the lipstick in this set is in wifey this is a matte whereas the other two were cream finishes it's not super pink um it's interesting that it's in the nude pink trio because i'm not getting a ton of pink from that but it's a really pretty like classic nude not too warm and not too cool but with the liner it would make it a little bit more warm so that is the gloss there in pop from the pinky duo and then that is the gloss from the other one so you can definitely tell that this one is more true pink especially along with the other morphe lip products that i already have i think these will get a lot of use in my collection i know i love the liner formula the one that i have on is honestly my perfect nude and i can see myself getting a lot of wear out of this combo here that is everything that i purchased in this sephora haul hopefully i will keep my word and you won't see a sephora haul or makeup haul in general on my channel for a while with that that is everything that i have for you guys today i did just want to mention that i do have a giveaway going on for my 4000 for hitting 4000 subscribers here on youtube i am giving away a 50 dollars us gift card to Ulta and then I have a physical prize for a Canadian winner as well so I'll link that above it will be the video right before this one I'll link it down below as well so definitely check that out because that will be running for the next two weeks that is everything that I have for you guys today as always thank you so so much for watching and I hope that you have an absolutely awesome day bye